The Florida Keys has no shortage of coastal dining spots, as you know. When it comes to just having a cold beer and some shrimp and kicking back, you pretty much can't go wrong. But the purpose of this show is to take you to some places where there's a little bit of a surprise, where something goes a little bit beyond what you might expect. That's how it is at Lucy's Retired Surfer Bar and Grill. Here they have many of the same standards for their food that you would find at a fine dining restaurant, as well as incredible cocktails that apply, again, those same standards of making it just a little bit better. We're gonna talk to someone who knows this better than anyone and see some of that great food and drink in a moment. Scott, you have worked for and owned really high quality restaurants. I so that. I knew when you were on board here that it was gonna be something special here at Lucy's. But uh, tell people what they can expect to find here that, that they may not be able to tell okay. from the outside. Well, Lu Lucy's is one of those great local spots off the beaten path. Very casual, but the food and service is on point. We yeah. highlight fresh locally caught seafood. A shout out to the local fishermen, we love you. Mm -hmm. If you come by Lucy's, you can expect to have a good time with great drinks at a really good price. That's yeah. really important to us that yes. people feel comfortable when they come in. Yes. We're very dog friendly to friendly dogs. We have a <laughs> patio outside, we have indoor dining. I think Lucy's offers something for a little bit of, for everybody. Yeah. It's very family friendly and after you know after dinner hours we kind of kick off our shoes and we yeah. have a good time with the happy hour. Right. And I always say about this that you know local is a state of mind. It and is when you really come is. in here you just get swept right into that. Uh, and absolutely. Like a tide not, rushing in. He's a little bit friendly. Uh, of he's course, make a little you feel bit. Welcomed. Absolutely. And yeah. I mean, you're such a pro. You're so Thank good you. at this. Thank you very and much. And we're going to see some of that great food and drinks in a moment. It'll be my pleasure. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. I know. Yeah. Start off with a true local specialty, the shaka ceviche, made today with conch, something you won't find at just any old beach bar. You can't fish conch here in the Keys, but it's still a dish particular to this area and it's especially refreshing and easy to eat this dish on a hot day. I love, love, love a fish taco. A delicious, fresh fish taco like you see here with blackened, locally caught fish that they take such pride in serving here at Lucy's, pineapple cabbage slaw, and lime crema. These just hit the spot with all the textures and flavors coming together in a handheld snack. Moving into more full-size meals, Here's the tuna entree, served over orzo with vegetables and a tropical sprinkling of mango. That is some fresh tuna, healthy and glowing pink. Also fresh and paying homage to the nearby Deep South, Key West pink shrimp and pepper jack cheese grits. Rich, oh yeah, and so good. Because what's served in the glass is as important on this show as what's on the plates, Three of their expert cocktails are all given a fun spin, like the Piranha, made with cassacha, lime, and hibiscus syrup. If you don't know cassacha, it's a Brazilian spirit made from fermented cane juice, and it's delicious. The stolen coconut margarita with coconut tequila, lime, and pineapple is what you see now. Think of it as a margarita and a pina colada that went on a date that went really well. Last but not least, the Key Lime Lucy. You can just skip that pie and drink this for dessert instead. Of course, Lucy's also has just super casual food, super casual drinks. You can get drinks with fun toys bobbing around in them and everything. But what I wanted to show you is the things that really are a gourmet experience without being at all snobby. They are so friendly here, as you saw with Scott. I love this place. Everybody loves this place. It's always packed and for a good reason. We've got more great dining coming up. I'll see you at my next pick in a moment.